Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 things that you're doing wrong on your iPhone. Now avoid doing these things will help you get better experience on your iPhone as well as get better performance and better battery life on your iPhone. So let's get started. Here are 15 things that you're doing wrong on your iPhone. The first thing you're doing wrong is not backing up your iPhone. That's a very wrong thing to do. You lose your iPhone or your iPhone might get damaged and you'll lose all your data. But you will have to back it up in order to retrieve all of your data. There is a simple way to back up your iPhone simply by going to your settings, go to iCloud and make sure you have iCloud backup turned on. Once you have do done that, it will automatically back up your iPhone. You can as well do that from iTunes. Just connect your device to your iTunes, click backup just to click and you have your iPhone backed up. As easy as that. Another thing you might be doing wrong is closing apps from the background. Now this has also been confirmed by Apple. You will have to leave your apps in the background, especially those that you use frequently, like maybe your social media apps that you open like 20 or 30 times a day. You don't have to close them from the app switcher every time you get out of the app. Those apps will stay there and they are basically just staying there ready to be launched. You don't have to close them and relaunch them every time you want to open the apps. That will of course consume way more battery and way more processing power on your iPhone. Leaving them opened in the background is the best thing you can do on your apps. The battery of your iPhone is of course one of the most important things. You want to have your battery lasting longer and the best thing you can do is not draining your battery totally. Now some people prefer to leave the battery drain down to 0% or maybe 1 or 2% and then charge it. They think that's the best practice, but that's not. I suggest that you charge your iPhone like maybe to 80%. That's the best percentage. The sweet spot is between like 40 and 80%. So don't let your iPhone just basically lose the battery discharge until it's off or one or two percent just charge it when it's at like 30 or 40 percent up to 80 percent that's the sweet spot if you want to keep your battery healthy and make it last longer i've seen a ton of people keeping location services on all the time so you open like for example facebook instagram or twitter and it's constantly tracking your location what that will do is of course just consume battery on your iphone and of course processing power and even data if you're on cellular data that will also consume data you don't want to do that make sure you go to settings go to location services you can turn it completely off and just turn it on when you need it or you can go ahead scroll down here on the apps and just choose basically which apps you want to track your location if you need an app all the time to track your location you can go ahead and just go to one of them and just basically enable it or disable it or maybe just while using the app just make sure you go ahead and basically just filter the apps don't let all of the apps track your location all the time that will be bad for your battery for the performance of your iphone as well as for your cellular data Another thing a ton of people don't do on their iPhone and that's a wrong thing to do is not setting up their medical ID. You can set that up by going to the health app and just go to your profile. You will have your medical ID and just go ahead, enter all your information right here. So you can enter like, of course, your name, your picture, all that. And you have here your allergies, you have medical conditions, medical notes. You will have to enter your blood type here, your weight your hide or that thing and of course you will have here an emergency contact that's really really important so you add right here the number of someone from your family or your friends and you will have that as an emergency contact in case you need that on your iphone just make sure you go ahead and set up your medical id another thing that i see a lot of people doing wrong on their iphone and which i also do 
is not setting up a passcode or face ID or even touch ID, whichever device you have. That's really, really wrong. You might forget your phone somewhere, it's open totally and someone might get through your iPhone, get your data, your pictures, your messages or anything else that you have. Of course, you have important stuff on your iPhone, so you don't want to leave that at risk. Go ahead, go to your settings and make sure you have set up your face ID or touch ID and of course the passcode. And you can use face ID or touch ID even for the iTunes and the App Store purchases as well as for Apple Pay and also the password autofill. Just make sure you have that turned on, either the passcode and of course touch ID or face ID. Another thing you might be doing wrong is keeping your cellular data on all the time. If you don't need to use your cellular data, make sure to turn that off. What it will do if you leave it on all the time is of course consume a ton of battery. Your iPhone will consume a ton of battery using cellular data and of course it will consume your data. And if you're on a remote place like you're hiking or somewhere, make sure to turn on the airplane mode. You don't need to have your cellular data on all the time because you might have like bad reception or a weak reception and your iPhone will constantly try to connect and get cellular data and that of course will drain your battery a lot. Another thing you're doing wrong is using your iPhone on extreme weather conditions, either on cold or on hot places, you don't use your iPhone. If it's too cold, it will totally drain your battery. If it gets too hot, you will see that the iPhone will be disabled. You might have noticed that if you had like the chance to use your iPhone on a place that it's hot on the sun, or maybe you're on a beach and you leave your iPhone exposed on the sun, it will be disabled. You will see here like a triangle that will tell you that the iPhone needs to cool down in order for you to use it. So make sure you don't use your iPhone when it's too cold or too hot. Another big no-no is using fake cables on your iPhone. You might have used fake cables every once in a while and you will notice that if you use a fake cable, fake charger to charge your iPhone, you will notice that the battery gets really, really hot. Of course, there are other cables that are not Apple official cables that are certified and they're good to go but if you use like really really cheap cables that you get from the internet or somewhere and they're not certified they will damage the battery of your iPhone so make sure you only use official and certified cables and chargers for your iPhone. Another thing that people do wrong on their iPhone is not updating the software. Now you'll see all the time that there are bugs and glitches and all that stuff on iOS. There are security bugs, sometimes they're very, very dangerous, so you will have to keep your iPhone updated all the time in order to get the latest patches for the security bugs and all that stuff. So make sure you go ahead, go to your settings, go to general, and then go to software update and make sure you have your software updated at the latest version. If you don't wanna do that all the time, you can go ahead and go in the same place and just go to automatic updates and enable it right here. What this does is that it will automatically install an update when an update for the software of your iPhone is available. Another setting that you must change on your iPhone is going to settings, go to general and you will find here background app refresh. Now you will have this right here enabled for all the apps and that's really really wrong, especially if you go to background app refresh right here and you have it on Wi-Fi and cellular data. That will use your cellular data to refresh the apps on the background, which means that apps that need to download stuff, they're downloading it on the background all the time and you might not even know that and of course that will consume your cellular data. What you want to do is just switch to Wi-Fi here and of course go here and just enable background app refresh for apps that you need to have the background app refresh on. You don't have to leave all the apps on, just make sure you choose which ones you use the most or which ones need to have background app refresh enabled and enable it from here. Of course, we all have a ton of apps installed on our devices. Maybe you don't use a lot of them, but you still have them right there on your device and they're taking a ton of space. So what you need to do is go to settings, go to general, go to iPhone storage and go ahead and just see which of the apps are using most of the storage on your iPhone. That way you will know which apps you need to delete. Maybe right there you will find a ton of apps 
that you're not using but they are taking a lot of space on your device and of course you can also enable offload unused apps now what this does is that it will automatically delete apps that you don't use but it will save their data so for example let's say it deletes a game you go ahead and install it after a few days you will still have the data right, right there saved but it will just offload the apps that's a really good thing to do a ton of apps just taking space on your device and maybe you're not even using them on your iPhone, when you take pictures, sometimes, maybe even accidentally, you might take a burst picture. Now, what that does is that it will take a ton of pictures at the same time. Now, the wrong thing you might be doing here is not selecting your favorite one and deleting all the other ones. So, just go to edit on a burst picture and you will find there the favorite picture that you want to keep. And from there, you need to delete the other ones keeping all of them at the same time they're basically the same picture you don't need to have all of them just go ahead and delete the ones that you don't want to have and last but not least is not cleaning your iphone yes your iphone needs to be cleaned every once in a while especially the charging port that will take like a ton of dust and everything there so just make sure you get like maybe a toothpick or something and go ahead and take all the trash out of there that sometimes will also prevent your iphone from charging and of course the speaker grill the microphone grill all of them need to be cleaned so just take like a toothbrush or something and just slightly just basically scrub them here at the speakers and also at the microphone there and of course your iphone will be cleaned and you will have much better sound and of course don't forget to, ch to clean the charging port of your iphone so that's basically it for this video guys these are 15 things that you might be doing wrong on your iphone hopefully you're not doing all of them so make sure you check out this video and see what to do and what not to do on your iphone thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you on the next one